Hi, welcome to Susan's Cooking School. Today we're making no need pizza dough. Here I have one pound of bread flour, two teaspoons of kosher salt, one and a half teaspoons of active dry yeast. Here I have one and two thirds cups of room temperature water. I like to use spring water. Just add it all together. Now we're going to mix until this comes together. This is called a no-knead dough, but actually anytime you are mixing flour with liquid, you in essence are kneading the dough. It's not the traditional kind of kneading. So now you can see this has come together into a glob of dough. Now we're going to mix vigorously for two minutes. As you mix, you'll notice this dough coming together more and more. This is too difficult for you to do for two minutes. You can do it for one minute. Your dough quality might not be quite as good. Okay, so we're done. Cover it, let it rest for about an hour, and then put it in the refrigerator overnight. Our dough has been sitting for an hour at room temperature. It hasn't done much rising yet, which is fine. Now we're going to put it in the refrigerator and let it sit overnight. Well, it's the next day. Let's take our dough out of the refrigerator. Let's take a look. You can see it's risen. And it's poofy. We're just going to stir this down. And then we're going to let it rest for 15 minutes. It'll warm up a little bit. And then we'll shape it. Keep it covered so it doesn't dry out. All right, our dough has been resting for 15 minutes. Now we're going to take it out onto our board. I'm going to put a lot of flour because remember this dough is very sticky. It's much more sticky than a regular traditional style dough. Empty it out. Put a little flour on the top so it won't stick to my cutter. I'm going to divide this in half. And now the very important part when making any kind of pizza or bread dough for that matter is this final shaping before the dough is going to rise. I'm going to shake off a little bit of the extra flour. I'm going to stretch my piece out. I'm going to fold it in thirds. Turn it around. Press it a little bit. Fold it in thirds again. Seal it a little bit. Now my shape is sort of oblong and I want to round it. So I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to bring the edges to the center, kind of as if I'm stretching over something. And I should feel this start to tighten up and become smoother as I do that. Just do this a few times until you feel that if you do it any more, the dough is going to um, tear, which it is about to. So I, I'm done with that. Now I'm just going to pinch it together. And it's still quite sticky and put it on a nice bed of flour and cover the top with flour. Now I'll do the same thing to my other piece and then take the edges and pinch them together. I'm going to make sure that I have a lot of flour under my dough so that it doesn't stick and I've put quite a bit of flour on the top and now I'm going to cover it with plastic and let it rest and rise until it's ready to go. It's been about 45 minutes and our dough has spread out a little bit and got a little poofy. Now we're ready to shape our pizzas. I have my peel. I'm going to put quite a bit of flour on it because as I said before, this dough is pretty sticky. I'm going to take one of my pieces of dough. I'm going to press around the edges to make a little crust. pick it up and just gently stretch. And as I if I feel the dough, if I feel the dough is sticky, I'll make sure to put a little more flour on it. If you have trouble stretching it um, up like this, you can just stretch it down and just kind of pull and stretch if you need to. I don't want to make it bigger than my peel or it'll be too big for my stone. Before I put this in the oven, I'm going to make sure that it's loose on my peel. 
put it to the edge of the stone, shake it a little bit to get it to release, and then just pull the peel out. Here's our eggplant and red pepper pizza. Here's our second piece of dough. And I'll show you another method for making a pizza without the peel and the pizza stone. This time we're going to do it right in a aluminum sheet pan. I'll put some olive oil down there. My dough is a little stickier because it's been sitting for a while, so I'm going to make sure that I cover it well with flour so that I'll be able to stretch it out. This pizza I'm not going to make round, it's going to be more rectangular, so I'm shaping it sort of rectangular before I start stretching it. I press out the edge a little bit again, and then I'm going to press out the middle. Now I'm just going to gradually stretch this into a rectangular shape. I can finish stretching it when it's on the sheet pan too, so it's not a problem. Now I'm going to put this on my pan. Make sure that the oil gets spread underneath it. I can press it out a little more. See, it opened up nice and thin. Just want to make sure that the oil is to the edge so it won't stick on me. Now this pizza I'm going to do a little different than the other one. I'm going to do a uh, tomato sauce based pizza. So here I have some tomato sauce that I made earlier. Put it in the same oven at 425. The pizza in the pan without the stone takes a little bit longer to bake. And I'm just slide it right onto my cutting board. And here's our fried salami tomato sauce pizza. Time for a taste test. Happy baking. <laughs>